So the first stage, we fire up Omega T and we uh, create a new project, new, and uh, let's call this new project um, OT v versus MQ1. Once the project is opened, we are asked for the source file language. It's uh, Hebrew to English, so we don't have to make any changes, but if you need, you can change it here. Uh, there's an option to enable sentence level segmenting. We won't allow this at the moment. Just normal, normal. It's like paragraph seg segmentation. Okay, now we are asked to import the, the source files, which is uh, the file we prepared before. We now import it, and now the Omega T project um, is ready. It will be loaded in a moment in the um, in the left pane. Here it is. As you can see, there are a lot of tags here, and this doesn't look good. Many, many, many tags. A forest of tags. So obviously, we can't use the file as is, and we will have to manipulate it. One first problem that we encounter with uh, Omega T translating the Hebrew docx file. Okay, at this stage we move to Ome to MemoQ. We fire up MemoQ. Wait until it comes up, and we will repeat the same process with MemoQ. You can see it coming up in the foreground here. Uh, it takes quite a bit of time to load. Lo loading many DLLs and initializing. Uh, once it finishes all its inner processes, we'll be able to open a new project. Here it is. Oh, MemoQ has come up and we'll create a new project. Uh, let's call this a OMT. V memq source language would be Hebrew. Where is it? Hebrew target language is English. There we are. Project description. We don't need it, but here the project directory. It's, uh, we, I'd rather have it in a place that's more accessible. So I start looking for the place where I placed my... or I created the directory for this project. Here it is. Okay, so that will be our directory. And uh, we're ready. Next. What's next? Translation document. Here you can import the document you wish to translate. Let's add the document. It's taking its time. Now we are also in the same place as before in my documents. Quite inconvenient. Uh, if you keep things in my documents and you have to um, reinstall Windows, you will lose everything there. So it's not a very good idea to save documents there. Anyway, here we are. This is the final uh, doc the document that we've already loaded into Omega T. Now we're loading it into MemQ. Open. Okay, so MemoQ takes its time now to uh, do the operation. It's loading the docx that we've already loaded in uh, Omega T. We will see what it does with this. Uh, importing, creating, closing. It tried to create an HTML preview of the documents, but uh, now it's closing. As you can see, it's taking some time. Perhaps we'll interrupt the uh, recording until it's finished. Okay, so it's finished. It says preview creation failed, post-processing done, 
completed with some warnings, close or finish, close. Okay, so now we have um, the document. We can finish this. And um, our document is ready. This is the interface here. You have project home at the top. And then you have at the side this overview, translations, live docs, translation memories. So while in um, in Omega T, the um, translation memory was created immediately, and we will see it in a moment, um, MemoQ requires a separate uh, process for opening a translation memory, similarly to Travis. Okay.